Hello, my name is John Shear. I'm making a video to answer some frequent questions that we've had from this latest Facebook post about kitchen cabinets. So this is a image that was sent by someone I've been engaging through the Facebook post. It's the kitchen that they have and they'd like to know the approximate price. This is from the uh, real estate listing. So I can tell from the image that it's oak cabinets. There's an island. I'm probably assuming that the island's made of the same material. These are two images from different sides of the kitchen. So there are no two kitchen cabinets are the same and no two paint processes that, that are the same. So there is an industry sort of standard that uh, the boxes are brushed and rolled in place and the cabinets are taken away to off-site to be painted, typically by some fast dry uh, materials such as conversion varnish or lacquer. So that kitchen cabinet package could be $3,500. That's what you're getting for that. A couple other factors that influence pricing is uh, this is another job that we completed a few years ago. This has um, wood grain that was not filled. Here we are actually paint, we, we've prepped and painted. The paint is well adhered. Uh, we also replaced the hardware. But this is, an, this is an example of a prime and paint system. This was done by Fine Paints of Europe, uh, marine quality um, paint. And you can kind of still see the wood texture. Not, not very much. If you're looking for it, it might drive you crazy. Um, but I would say that the majority of people want to have a finish like this because of the cost. So this cabinet package is, I'm comparing it to the first image that we had doing this process and it, having it be sprayed is probably in the $5,500 range. I pulled up another project here that I want to show you where we went to extensive prep work. This is a project that we did last year in Bellevue. So this is what it looked like before. This is typical substrate here. If you're sending an image to, to shear painting to get a, a rough ballpark, we're going to need this sort of image. Backside of the cabinet where the uh, hinge is. That, that affects how long and how hard it is to put back together. <laughs> uh, but this is, this is the wood grain. Here's another wood grain picture. Well, here's a before picture. This has been fancied up with a little before logo. But this was the kitchen. Natural wood. These are very high quality solid wood cabinets. The owner just wanted a different look. Here's a close-up. Same kitchen. Same kitchen. This was underneath the uh, sink, so a little bit more wear than the other cabinet faces and door faces. So we went and we filled grain. That's a filling. That's Bondo. We use different fillers, but here we use Bondo. So we prepped it. We we filled it, we sanded it, multiple, primed it again. Some of our guys on site here. This white stuff is um, areas that have been prepped, sanded again. That's that's a that's a primer that we a primer that we're using, and then we're going to fill again. Very very labor intensive. So here's again be before image of the kitchen, and this is what it looks like afterward. Homeowner says they look like new cabinets. John, we are so happy. That was this. To be fair, these new poles are pretty darn sexy. <laughs> Client picked them out. As part of the process, we knew 
that the hardware was going to be swapped out. It's important to know it at the beginning because when we do our prep work, we can fill the previous hole and then preset the new. We, we have carpenters that work for us that can, we want to set these in before they're, ideally before we begin the process. And here is the kitchen afterwards. Here's the kitchen afterwards. And to remind you, this is what it was before. Actually, that's during our prep. Work. That's before we filled, but during our prep work. Here's a uh, here's the desk. That um, a desk in the in the a little workspace in the kitchen, and we painted the top of it. But then we also put plexiglass on top of it. That makes it so you can spill coffee and have pencil marks and you know this plexiglass will clean is that this is actually a piece of glass we went up from plexiglass to glass had a custom cut for this for this size um, here same kitchen we painted the island nice little color huh I went through a color process with a client for that it was a lot of fun to do that again here's the after of the island and this is the before on the island and voila new kitchen new life uh, I just wanted to illustrate that because that job right there is 3x the cost of a uh, well so this is a large kitchen but let's go back to the other price the other prices of this kitchen right here so Bottom, quick and down and dirty, using fast dry materials, uh, usually lacquer or conversion varnish. Uh, that's a $3,500 paint job. We do that for $3,500. Actually, we do it for about $4,000 because we use a uh, higher, higher grade of uh, fast drying material. The prime and paint system, which is twice as much work as a primer and a paint, is about $5,500, $6,500. So if this were a full wood grain fill, this would be $9,000. So I cannot determine what you want to have on your job, but that's a good rundown of the pricing. I would say this much. Replacing your cabinets is way more than nine dollars or $10,000. It could be thirty, forty, fifty $50,000 for the cabinets. And if they're old wood cabinets, even though you might not look the aesthetic, like appreciate the aesthetic of the cabinet, um, they are very, they're much higher quality build than other cabinets that are available that are prefabricated boxes and faces. I'm not going to say names because I'm not here to be critical of how, you know, modern cabinet construction. So, but custom cabinets could be $70,000. Ones that are as higher quality of wood as I see in uh, cabinets that are 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. So here is our... Here's a website that we have. It's not been updated in a while, like five years, but sheerpainting.com backslash Seattle Painting Cabinets. And I've got different examples of our work, other links. Here's a, here's a job on Mercer Island. This was cherry that we painted a little before and after slider on my WordPress theme. And, uh, of course, you can call for a bid. There's also a video in here. How are we different? Okay. Thank you for uh, listening to my ramblings as I describe maybe how one kitchen cabinet package can cost between $3,500 or $9,000. It just depends on the work and the process put into it. Again, I'm not criticizing any particular finish. There are some painting contractors that their go-to is always to use fast dry. And you may look at different kitchens and people have different opinions. We've done all the different finishes. It goes from the fast dry all the way up to the fine paints of Europe, marine grade enamel stuff is the very um, top end of the market. Thank you for watching.